My name is Ashley Yin and I live in Elk Grove. I lost my mother due to medical negligence when her cancer was left untreated and spread throughout her body. That's when I learned about a California law passed in 1975 that limits the rights of families like mine. Well, my mom and I were really close. Um, I'm her only child. We pretty much did everything together. We traveled together. We loved to go out to eat. Um, she started experiencing extremely bad headaches in May of 2018, which she went to the doctor for and they said they would just simply monitor until she actually had a CT scan and seen that there were brain tumors. She was told that these brain tumors were meningioma tumors, which are supposed to be harmless, um, slow growing. And so they said they would monitor those. And it wasn't until December of that year, a scan showed that the largest tumor had grown. The disease had spread from her brain to her colon and that those tumors were in fact not meningioma, but a crazy disease that was ravaging through her body. And so by the time that they were able to figure all of this out and try to do something about it and give her chemo, it was basically too late. It, But there was a lot of things that were overlooked. And so that's kind of what made me feel like, okay, maybe I should seek some legal action and see if I if there's a case or anything like that. And so that's when I reached out to get some legal advice and just to see. And then that's kind of when I was informed that, yeah, I could possibly have a case, but nobody wanted to take the case because basically there was no money to be made for them. And it was just a waste of time essentially for them. So I think I talked to probably over 30 lawyers from all throughout California. And I think it was one of the last ones that I talked to who let me know specifically what the law was. He broke it down for me. It made it seem like she didn't matter. Or like California really put like a cap on her life and a price on her life and nobody wanted to help. And it just made me feel alone and hopeless. I mean, I kind of like it spiraled me. I went into depression after because I felt alone that these doctors were going to be able to just keep doing this to other people and that my mom isn't the only one. She's not the first and she's not going to be the last and nobody is going to take the time to fix it or correct it. And it made my heart hurt not only for my situation, just but for other people that are going through it or that might have to go through it as well. I never want anyone else to go through what my mom did. Please join me to fight this injustice for other Californians by updating the 45-year-old limits on injured patients' rights for today.